Hi friends, I am Asmita. Welcome to my channel. Shannon Scott is a transgender combat military veteran. She served in the US military and Air Force. She received the Iraq Campaign Medal for her two tours. Shannon was born and raised in Great Falls, Montana. She was always the softer and more sensitive one. I learned pretty quickly to hide those emotions when I was young, she said. I learned to assimilate to the guys around me, even though it felt disingenuous, but I knew it was a part of survival in that environment. She knew she was different, but didn't know how. First, she wondered if she was gay or bisexual. Growing up, she didn't even know that transgender existed. After high school, Scott joined the Air Force and served for a little over 11 years, including a tour for Operation Iraqi Freedom. Knowing she couldn't transition while serving, Scott applied for jobs outside the military. After two years, she landed a highly technical role with the Federal Aviation Administration in 2011 as an Airway Transportation Systems Specialist. While in this role, Scott fully transitioned. Shannon hid her gender identity for decades. She didn't want to leave the force, but after her coming out she had only two options, stay in the closet or be dishonorably discharged. A discharge would mean losing my home, losing my livelihood, losing all the things I had worked for and sacrificed for the last decade of my life, she said. But, more importantly, the dishonorable discharge was undeserved. Everything was crumbling around me, Shannon recalled. I was losing my family, I lost my partner. My friends were disappearing. My co-workers wouldn't even speak to me, and I thought, I can't do this. Shannon was fortunate enough to find work in Portland with the federal government, which qualified her for an honorable discharge. I was one of the lucky ones, but there are a lot of other folks who haven't been so lucky, she said. Shannon explained it's important for everyone to understand that whether you're the person transitioning or the family members, friends or a co-worker that both parties understand that transition is hard. It is confusing and challenging for everybody involved. Be as patient as you can. Be as empathetic as you can. Say you're sorry when you make a mistake and try to do better, she said. As someone who has walked both paths, Scott has a few tips for making transgender employees feel more welcome. First, simple as it sounds, if you want your co-worker to feel supported, tell them. Scott suggests saying something like, I'm so happy for you, and I want you to know that I'm going to support you in every way I can. Then just ask, what are some ways that I can best do that? Next, genuinely be their ally, and not just when they're in the room. If someone is having an inappropriate conversation about someone who's transitioning in the workplace, be the brave person and speak up. Lastly, she says, just make sure your colleague is being treated respectfully, that they have a safe place to use the restroom, and that you know how to appropriately ask for their pronouns. Never ask what pronouns they prefer it's not a preference like chicken or fish, it's an identity. The best way to do this when you're meeting someone new is to first offer your own, and then ask what pronouns they use. Hi, my name is Shannon Scott and my pronouns are she, her, and his. What pronouns do you use? This way you avoid singling them out.